Hi and welcome back to another vlog. Today I've got a lot going on in the dehydrator. I've got to make some freezer breakfast which is just some pancakes and waffles. So let's get going. First up is brewing my mint tea. Have fresh herbs from the garden and then I've got all this going on that's in my dehydrator so today we have sage, dill, fennel, oregano, a little bit of thyme, some flat leaf parsley and then a whole host of pansies. Okay, let's get you set up. And we start working on this lot. Okay, for the pancakes and waffles, we're going to use this. It's got a waffle recipe at the bottom there, and the pancake one on the top. Okay. Over here is my electronic Belgian waffle maker. Right, in both these bowls there's nine ounces of the pancake mix and we're going to add to that 350 mils of water to each one, to the waffle one we're going to add an egg. couple of tablespoons of oil to the waffle one right. get this mixed in Now I found with this waffle I am, I've struggled with it from the day I had it, it seems to really cook very high. So I'm expecting disasters in this one, hopefully not too many disasters in this one. And this is what happens with that waffle maker and it was oiled well before I put it on there okay I'm not a defeatist oil and I'm gonna Last try. They're stuck again. <laughs> OK, 
keep up with these things. Okay, that is me done with them. It might be a time for a new waffle maker. When you really want to make waffles but can't. Okay. If anyone's got a good make of a waffle maker, please let me know. Drop it down in the comments below. I'm still smiling through gritted teeth, but I'm still smiling. Probably not American, that's why. Yeah. That's okay. What I do is I make the waffles in pancake shape. I'm gonna call them waffle pancakes. Not this lot, this is normal pancakes, American style pancakes. It is just gonna be one of those days where things are just not going to go right. It's fine. I refuse to be beat. in with the waffle pancakes. Whoopee! This mum is dripping in sweat. It's a hot day here in the UK. Too hot to be in the garden, so that's why I thought I would do these pancakes and that. Do it once and then not worry again for a couple of weeks. I'm on a separate plate. I popped that one back in because I looked like a bit of raw batter I dropped on it. in that corner. Right, let's mix up another lot. Okay, got some more mixture made up. Waffle one still. Mama's got her mint tea now. If you haven't ever tried mint, fresh mint tea, you've got to give it a go. It's lovely. All right, I'll bring you back when I finish this lot. Okay, in this lot, we're going to add some brown apple sauce. One in the waffle one. This one there. And the other one in here. Keep the jars for dehydrating, they're perfect for them. Especially for small amounts of herbs and that. To these, I'm going to add some cinnamon. Into the pancake one. Oh, I wait. 
the other one to do. Let's get some the waffle ones in. Bring you down and show you the amount of plain ones that we've got. We've got all of those, and that's the pancake ones, and all of those, and that's the waffle ones. Right, I'll bring you back when all these are done, and I'll clean the cooker and all of that. See you in a bit. Okay, and this is what we've got. We've got three packs of eight apple cinnamon waffle pancakes, 30 plain waffle pancakes, 18 apple cinnamon pancakes and 30 plain pancakes. So these will be going in my freezer and I'll be back. Okay, time for brown sugar, molasses, Brown sugar, all done. Let's get it in the jar. Next up, some coffee creamer. some sugar, two thirds, thereabouts, now I can decant this lot. That's that done. Let me clean up this and I'll be back. Time to refill the marshmallow jar. These are dehydrated marshmallows. My kids to eat, like to eat these as snacks, throw them in their cereal, in their hot chocolate. So they get used a lot. There we are, that's that one done. Okay. Having some of um, 
master dough so we can make a flatbread. going to spread it out the best we can. It will stick to everything and that's fine. I dump my hands down. It doesn't stick quite so much to me if you've got wet hands. Add some olive oil. I've got an organic extra virgin olive oil. Use any one that you've got. Put those dimples in. I'm going to do some basil. This is my homegrown one. Some oregano. Again, it's the home one. See if I can find the parsley. Put some parsley. And last but not least, got a little bit of thyme. And then just a little bit of rosemary. Crushing it up in my hand. Okay. And with some flake salt. and I'll be back when it's cooked. Okay, time to top up my cleaners. I can go a little more. No, oh, that is his homemade vinegar and a little bit of water. I tend to, if I've got one what need filling, I will just top up all of them at the same time, save me keep topping up so I don't have to do the once every now and then. Right. With these cleaners, all you do. damp cloth with just some water Okay, 
with a dry cloth. Just wipe it off. And there we are. Sparkling clean. If you've never made your own homemade vinegar and used it as a cleaner, I suggest give it a go. It's really worth it. It's what I clean all of my house with. So um, let me go and check this bread. Now I've deliberately haven't cleaned this sink. You can see it is dirty because I want to show you how well these vinegars clean. Okay. My sink is not normally this dirty because I get clean it every day but I decided to leave it to show you how well these vinegars clean. Little effort. How sparkly that is. Completely clean. There we are, just with the vinegars vinegar and water. Now you've seen how well homemade vinegar is clean. How effortless it is. And here we have here we have the flatbread. And my cooker off. Look at that. Um, doesn't that look nice? My kitchen smells lovely. I put the pancakes and the waffles in the freezer. This better go with dinner tonight. So, okay, that was a busy day. I'm absolutely exhausted. And I'm tired that was a long time standing to do the pancakes and that but it's done so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button ring that notification bell that way you'll know each time we upload a video until next time bye